Hi everyone, this is Apostoli Watchman at one and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a quick dream that I want to share to you all. Um, it is a dream from this morning that the Lord has shown me. So in my dream, I was outside of of the stadium um, near high school, and then it was at it was nighttime. It was dark outside, and they were full of uh, lights all around the stadiums. And then I saw a lot of people, a lot of Christians um, having revival um, inside the, uh, the stadium outside of the, um, of the high school. It was a huge revival. And then, and then I went um, straight to the um, ele elevator um, that's near to the, um, the entrance of the stadium. When I got to the elevator, I saw two Christians uh, standing inside the elevator. So I went inside the elevator and then I closed the door and then the air elevator started um, going up. And there are two Christians um, who are in the elevator with me. So I talked to, um, I talked to uh, both of these uh, two Christians, but then they said nothing to me and they're and they look at me and they're being mean and angry at me. And I said, what did I do wrong? And so the elevator started um, going up. And then it, and then when I reached to the top, then I started getting off the elevator. And then I started uh, looking around the stadium and enjoying the revival where everyone else is enjoying. And then after that, I started getting back to the elevator. And, the, and then there's still... Two same um, Christians, and so I still talk to them while the elevator goes back down, and they still said nothing about me. They said nothing to me. It's like they're being against me, and I did nothing wrong to them. So after that, I went out of the elevator. Um, after I got to the bottom floor, and then went back to revival, and enjoyed um, the rest of the. Re revival with all the high school uh, Christians and all the and all the high school friends as well and then the dream shifted and I was at church and I was in church um, in Carbondale Illinois and there are lots and lots of um, of young people inside the churches and they were all singing and praising and worshiping our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ and that most of them have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior while most of them are still struggling with sins and still wanted to get into the presence of God and wants to get to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So, it, so it's also a huge revival inside the church. So while I went inside the church, while I was inside the church, I was looking for my, um, my college friends, my Christian friends. I haven't seen them around there. But then it's like the Lord is showing me a lot of young people who are seeking revival, seeking uh, repentance, acceptance of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, being filled with the Holy Spirit, healing, deliverance, church homes, and then discipleships. And then after I stayed in that revival, then I immediately went out of the church. But before I went out of the building, I saw two of my friends um, in the hallway getting ready for praise and worship, and they're getting their instruments ready and they're wearing church clothes as well and that's really really good but then after that i also i left the building and then i went back to the sidewalk and went back to the dorm room but then i saw a woman and a child together and they were wear and they were like wearing winter coats in the middle of spring summertime and i said to myself you know it's not winter time and I said to myself, why do they wear, why do they wear um, winter coats? And then after that, my dream ended and then I woke up. So the people that wears a winter coat in the middle of spring, summer season, that winter coat that they wore, they think that it was cold outside. But that's also a summarization of lukewarm Christians. Because there are lukewarm Christians out there who says that they love Jesus, but they only care so much about the world. And they're not getting serious unto our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
and then um, both Christians that are inside of the churches and also um, outside the stadiums, um, outside high schools, they represent born again Christians. They all want to be with Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. They don't like what the world has done. And that their hearts are fully surrendered unto Him and unto our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They don't want to be the same like everyone else. They want to be different. And that's why we as born again Christians um, are followers of Jesus Christ. And that we are no longer the same like anyone else. Nor comparing ourselves to this world full of sins, full of darkness, full of evil. You already know what's happening outside um, as well. You already know what's happening everywhere. Including the governments, the President of the United States, the whole community, the whole society. All the events, including all the end time events as well. Because we are living in the last days. And there is huge revival that's still going on in and will still take place as well. And God is still doing that. And if anyone tries to stop revival, God will stop them first. Because God is the one who's orchestrating the revival. And that's why we will continue on sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ according to Matthew chapter 24. And so is the revival as well. And then the two people who are in the elevator. Who I talk to, but then they don't want to talk to me back. They also represent lukewarm Christians as well. And they also represent Christians as well. Some are born again, some are lukewarm. But then the problem is they don't want to talk to me. And that represents um, that represents um, a Christian not talking to a Christian with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So we have so many people in our lives who we talk to, but then all of a sudden they don't want to talk to us. They ignore us. They rejected us. They hated us. They turn against us. Same thing to all the unbelievers as well. Same thing to the rest of the lukewarm Christians, cardinal Christians, disobedient Christians, other Christians as well. Because these two people represent lukewarm Christians and other types of Christians, even religious Christians who says they love Jesus but deny Acceptance of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, including the Holy Spirit and baptismal water. So, we have to watch out for um, for Satan using those Christians to ignore us, to attack us, to uh, to persecute us. We are not to attack them back because those because the Christians are not our enemies. I'm talking about lukewarm Christians. Cardinal Christians, disobedient Christians, and all the unbelievers as well. They're not our enemies. We still love them with the love of Jesus. And we have to show our love and our respect. And we still have to bless them in distance and forgive them and still bless them. Just like what Jesus did to everyone, according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the Bible. Even a long time ago on this earth. Because nobody else created the heavens and the earth. But God, that's why we're standing here right now. Because God is the one who creates the heavens and the earth. And he's still, he's still alive. And he still exists. And he's still here with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us ever again. So, like I said, lukewarm Christians and other types of Christians are not our enemies. We still have to love them, bless them, forgive them, and keep on praying for them. So that they will no longer be lukewarm or cardinal or, or being disobedient to God. But they will become born again. Born again Christians by being filled with the Holy Spirit. And being baptized in water with healing, deliverance, discipleships. And to no longer compare the, themselves to this world. But to be transformed by the renewing of their minds. To no longer be like the world anymore. But to be separated from this world and to become followers of Jesus Christ and followers and fishers of men to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are not to play church. We are not to commit sexual sins and idolatry and pride and rejection and rebellion against one another. Because those that did that, they're fighting the wrong enemies. And they're ignoring Satan, which means that Satan is the one 
who did all that bad stuff against all people. And we ignore the warnings from God when he tells us not to fight against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. So the Lord is, is telling me and he's telling all of us. Do not fight against flesh and blood. But against Satan, against demon spirits, against all lies from the pits of hell. Look at Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 through 13. And you'll see it for yourself what God is saying to all of us as well. And then other scripture verses that I'll post it at the bottom of the description box later on today. And also, this is a time for revival. This is a time for repentance. This is a time for accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and being filled with the Holy Spirit and being baptized with water and to receive and to get healing, deliverance, church homes, and then discipleships. This is a time to come back and to serve our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to be with Him and to have a wonderful, wonderful relationship with Him. Relationship with Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Because God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for all of our sins. And that He's raised from the dead the third day so that we shall all be saved. And you can read Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. And also John chapter 3 as well. That will tell you on how to become a born again Christian. Including Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10 as well. So let's continue on sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Even if people ignore us, hate us, reject us, mock and scoff against us. All because of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Who, who he did not do anything wrong to these people. He is not against us. He loves us so much. And we are to love him back. Because if we don't love him back. Then how are we going to get to heaven without Jesus Christ? There's no other way to get to heaven. Not even yourself. Not even, not even religious people who kept denying Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Some of them use their lips saying, Oh yeah, I accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But their hearts are far away from Him. And they became lukewarm. And even denying the Holy Spirit. And denying God the Father. And the whole Trinity as well. Read First John. In the Bible as well. Learn about it. Because God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit are all one. And they are working together to save us from all sins. And we need to heed their warnings. So that we will not be like the rest of the world. Nor to be like Satan. Nor to be like demons. Nor to be like people being evil and hateful against us for no reason. And now we know that Satan is the one who controls those people. And I'm talking about the people who deny the Holy Spirit. And I'm also talking about the people who deny Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That means they open their own doors for demons to attack them. But we cannot let that happen. We cannot force them, but we still need to pray for them. And intercede for them. And to share the gospel with Jesus Christ and be led by the Holy Spirit. And be led... By our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He'll tell us what he wants to do. Not our flesh. Don't lean to your flesh. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I encourage you. To look at Salvation Repentance Prayer. Uh, video. On my um, YouTube channel. Check it out. Get to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You cannot hold on to sin. You cannot play games with sin. Because sin will lead you straight to death. It will lead you straight to hell. You do not want to play games against God. And you do not want to play games with sin. And you do not want to practice sin ever again. So don't play games with God. Don't mock against God. Don't scoff against God. Because God did not do anything bad to you. But you did something against God that you know you ain't supposed to do. Or maybe that you hear people saying that, oh yeah... I did this, I did that, and nothing happened. Unfortunately, something did happen to you because they're not being honest with you. So watch out for some people who mock and scoff and even rejecting 
and denying the gospel of Jesus Christ. You'll see another scripture verse for that as well at the bottom of the um, description box. And also, I will leave you all two links about how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit also at the bottom of the um, description box as well. So check them out. Those links will lead you straight to um, to the YouTube uh, channel, to the YouTube um, videos. So watch it. This is very, very, very important. To be right to ready, you have to be a born-again Christian. But do not pretend to be Christians because pretending Christians, lukewarm Christians, cardinal Christians, and disobedient Christians without the Holy Spirit and without the acceptance of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior will lead you straight into trouble, lead you straight to hell, and will lead you straight to be left behind and to suffer God's wrath during the seven-year tribulation. You do not want to be a lukewarm, cardinal, disobedient, or pretend Christians ever again. Don't do that. It's too dangerous. It's time for you to be born again. It's time for you to be a born again Christian by being filled with the Holy Spirit and be baptized with water and to get healing, deliverance, church homes, and then discipleships. Let Jesus Christ be your fireman. Let Jesus Christ be your, your paramedics. Let Jesus Christ be your police officer. Let Jesus Christ be your doctor. Let Jesus Christ be your ultimate hero. He's the one who's saving your lives. He's not here to judge you right now. He's here to save your life. Amen. So, that's about it for, for the day. And I just want to come on and share with you, you all uh, this dream that I have this morning. And yes, I already have myself a cup of coffee. And that's about it. So I'm just going to keep on spending time with my Lord and my Savior Jesus Christ. Because only He is the one who's in charge of my life. That's why I'm letting Him to live inside me. I'm letting Him to be my Lord and my Savior. And I'm going to follow Jesus Christ every day, every month, every year. And forevermore. Even when He comes. So that I too... And all of us, as well, can be raptured home to be with Jesus Christ, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit, and all of His angels, and all the people who misses us the most, including all of our pets, all of our animals, everyone, in heaven forever. This world is only temporary, and this world is not our home. Heaven is our home. And will always be our eternal homes with eternal life forever. Amen. So God bless you all. Jesus love you all. Peace and shalom. And by the way, thank you all so much for the 400 subscribers. Once again, thank you all so much for once again the 400 subscribers. Continue on sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Continue on spending more time with God. Continue on having a love relationship with Jesus Christ. As your Lord and Savior. And if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Check out once again. Check out Salvation Repentance Prayer. The video that I made. On my YouTube channel. Check him out. It will lead you straight to salvation. Lead you straight to Jesus Christ. It will lead you straight. Into heaven. With your name be written in the book of life. So that you will receive eternal life. Forever. In the afterlife. And even during the rapture of the church as well. Because once again, we are not subject to God's wrath. But we are subject to be with Jesus Christ forever. He will protect us and keep us safe away from the seven year tribulation. And beware of people who say things the opposite of what I'm saying right now. Beware of mockers and scoffers who just rejected the truth and just using their own words to deceive a lot of people. And you'll see what I mean in the upcoming uh, videos and from the previous videos as well. And it's not just me saying that. It's, it's God who's telling it to all his people. Don't do this. Don't do that. But if you keep doing this and doing that, you will receive the wrath of God. But if you do what God tells you to do and you obey him and you heed his warning and you trust him and you love him so much, then he will pour out his blessings 
and more of his favors shall be with you. And he will shine his light full of your glory upon you. And that all your people who saw you with the love of Jesus, as long as they have the Holy Spirit inside them, will see how much you love God so much. And that you are not to pretend loving God and still loving sinners. I mean, and still love sins. You, yes, still love all people. As well as sinners. But don't love sin. Because sin is not of God. It's of the devil. And sin will lead you straight to hell. And it will lead you straight to death. So don't play games with God. And don't play sins. Don't practice sins ever again. Amen. So um, there are upcoming videos coming up um, this week. Next week, etc. But stay tuned for that. You'll see why I mean. So that's about it, everyone. Take care. God bless you all. Jesus love you all. Peace and shalom. Bye-bye.